Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me over Q2 of the Weekly Contest 444, Implement Router. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this one is a little bit, <clears throat> I mean, I don't think it's that hard, it's just that you have to kind of figure out how, where the, what the problem is, right? There are like two or three, three different things that you have to kind of consider, and then you have to just put them together and keep track of all of them and the way that I did it um, and this was a little bit annoying but um, but you just have to kind of consider each of them independently a little bit right memory limit stuff I don't know when I read this I didn't know what it means yet I mean I know that there's a maximum number of packets but I don't know what ends no it doesn't mean anything to me in the sense that I don't know what kind of things I'm adding right? or what I'm what the problem is asking so next I read add packet and I go okay well there's this duplicate thing so immediately I'm thinking either a set um, or like some kind of sorted list or something like that um, because I can check to see where it's duplicate and then this is fine and honestly when I read this up to here I had already forgotten the memory limit this thing um, so you'll see me like if you watch the live video you'll see me like actually going back to this because I don't know why, why wouldn't you put this like here instead I don't know because this is the only place where I don't know it was a little bit confusing in any case yeah so here, right, like I said, I just had some data structure to look this up to see if it already exists. If it's not, then, you know, whatever, right? Uh, and then here is the first in, first out. Then immediately, I, I kind of thought, okay, well, um, well, we just want it to be on a, <clears throat> on a queue, right? Like a first in, first out queue so that you pop off the beginning. And that's it. So I was already thinking about a queue here, um, though... I, during, the, during the contest, and you'll see this live, I didn't really come to this immediately because I thought, uh, well, I didn't realize that at the time, I didn't realize the timestamp is strictly increasing. That they come in, so then I wasn't sure that, you know, because if, if they didn't, so it turns out that it is, they do come in uh, strictly increasing. Um, so you can actually use a queue, but if not, you needed a heap type thing. So that's what I was kind of jumping a little bit. But otherwise, I thought I needed a heap. And then the get count is probably the trickiest part, or at least the one that requires the most difficulty. So I have a lot, a bit of allergy situations. I'm rubbing my eye a lot. Um, but yeah, but when I once I know this, I knew that I have to kind of key on destination on something, and then binary search on this. Um, and that's basically it, really. Right. <clears throat> so here. I knew that I need a key for a binary search, and here I knew knew that I need a queue on everything because it doesn't depend on source and destination, and that's where I really end up on. Uh, if you look at my code, right? So I set the limit as memory limit. I have a sorted list full of the sorted list for each one, kind of like a heap for each one. Um, and the reason why we need a sorted li list instead of a heap or anything like that is that because you need to answer binary search queries, right? Um, yeah, and that's it. And honestly, you don't even you don't need it a sort. You need sorry. You don't need a sorted list. You could use a regular list. Um, if you kind of yeah, actually, is that true? Actually, I don't know if that's true. It depends on the start time and end time thing. Um, whether you can assume that that's that's like in the future or something like that. So I don't know. There's some nuance that actually now that I think about it, it's not super clear. Um, well, I guess not. It's actually not yet far forward. So, so that means that actually I'm wrong. You cannot use a list because, or you can, but you have to keep track of certain things. So maybe that's not the easiest way anyway. But yeah, but the, but the, but the reason is that I use sort of list is so that I knew I could buy every search. And then here, um, for the, I call it SLA because I, I thought it would be a sorted, I initially thought it would be a sorted list. Um, and I, A means all, so the name makes it a little bit awkward. But then later I changed it to a deck which is a queue, right? And then for add packet, we just can well, add a packet. We want to check to, to see whether this exists in, in the destination because, well, we already have a lookup table kind of an assorted list, so it's a log ends um, <clears throat> lookup, but that's fine. So if, it doesn't, if, if it's already in there, it's false. Otherwise, we add to everything that we can, which is the, the destination-specific list and also the general queue, right? And of course, if we have too many queues or too many items in the queue, then now we pop off from the left. And this is just a removal. You could probably have, um, <coughs> yeah, maybe you could put this in like a helper method because we also use use the next in the forward packet. And the forward packet, if there's no packets, there are no packets. You just you know return nothing. Otherwise, we move the front of the uh, queue. 
we move the packet from the destination uh, lookup table and return the list. Uh, and then the get count, which is a ready binary, uh, ready uh, standard binary search, is that you just binary search um, on. In this case, I did n time plus one, but bisect left. Technically, I want to bisect right. You can also, yeah, but but it's it's a little bit tricky to kind of get right when you have a second index. And actually, I didn't need a second index because um, I I put time. Oh no, I I guess I did for for this key, but. But for timestamp, I guess, I don't know if it's strictly increasing or whatever. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it could have been. But in any case, yeah, I did a binary search on the index on the end time and the left time. And I just subtract out the difference. And that's pretty much it. You could kind of, you could kind of just visualize it as, you know, in a list. And then here and here. And then just the number of items in between. Because each of these return an index, right? This returns the index. This returns an index. And the number of in between is going to be the binary. Bisect left is inclusive. Um, but that, which is why I did a plus one to get the next time, right? And that's it. Uh, yeah. Uh, the constructor doesn't do anything. It's all of one. Uh, here we are dominated by um, uh, this thing, which is a sorted list. So it's going to be log n in the worst case. Here as well, this is also log n, so this is log n. And of course, th this one is, has two binary search operations, so it's lo log n times two, or just O of log n. So everything is log n in this uh, problem, or this solution, and that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, you can watch me solve a live during the virtual contest now. Uh, okay. Uh, just weird to kind of think about this one. Okay, fine. Whatever. Move on, Larry. And go. Uh, okay. Kind of annoying for Q1. Unix. Okay, so we router source destination timestamp. All this packet to L least recently used or something. Okay. Folder. Mm. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's just a sorted list problem, but just uh. right. Okay, so add packet. So the only way you don't add is if stupid kid, right? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. If key and that was like a return true, and then right, okay, forward packet, uh, next packet. Well, we want the timestamp, so I messed up on this one. Get count is also weird. Maybe I didn't think this all the way through. It's still sorted list, I think. Yeah, it's still sorted list, but now you just like destination wise. I think I just didn't think about it all the way through. Um, We actually want this to be this. Okay. Um, uh, sort of this. Yeah. yeah. So that's confusing. Okay. And then forward packet, where is it? Oh, man. <coughs> A time step always going to be in increasing order. Okay. 
Hmm. That's why I wanted to sort of this, I guess, but I kind of messed up here. So I guess we just needed an additional thing, but I... Oops, that's not right. And then forward, we just want, uh, yeah, okay. Why is there a list? Okay, so it's like an optional, but not, I suppose. Uh, okay, so otherwise, well, then, then we return, what is it? Source destination timestamp. Okay, uh, that's not bad. Right. So we want. This could also have been a queue. It doesn't have to be a sorted list. Uh, mm, yeah, it doesn't have to be a sorted list, but. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right thing to do in terms of just timing, but it's fine. Right. But then now it allows us to write it as source destination timestamp, which is fine. We don't need this one. We don't need it for that. So, okay. So then now, so then now we want to return. But also self sl then. Um, was it timestamp source? I'm spending too much time on Q2. Wow, get count. This is gonna be at the end. I'm gonna like this. Oh, right, it's not, um, I guess there's no bisect right then, so it'll be bisect left. Is it inclusive? Inclusive, okay. Just in case, I guess. Uh, MTQ. Oh, how did we check for that? Oh no. Oops. I don't know if this is right, so it's kind of. It's so hard to tell. Do, 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 do. Ah, I mean, it's definitely wrong, which is fine. Let me also print this one. Okay, that one's right. So that is return the first item. That cannot be wrong though. Well, it's very really weird for it to be wrong. It's just for the packet. It's the only one. One. Huh. Uh, where did you get? Did I remove it? No, I remove it. Timestamp source. Okay. Huh? You know how they'd actually never call get count except for one at the end. So that could be a source of issue that I have to check. But um, this is actually not something that I expected because one for ninety. Why would it be not an SLA? Huh? Oh no no, that's my answer. Okay, I misread this. But the expected answer. Oh, I I forgot about the uh, the memory limit. That's why. Okay, that's actually I would have gotten a wrong answer on that one. It's okay. Uh, because it, 
they put this here instead of here for some reason. But I also didn't do anything about it. I, I just have no better. Okay, just focus and finish it. Uh, okay. So adding a packet. Okay. Okay. Wait, you removed Otis1, right? So if length of self.sla is greater than self.limit, then we basically removed Otis1. So we just copy and paste here, really. Oh man, that, that's actually pretty bad in that I got it well. Um, okay, so I have these two things now. So it looks more right. I don't know. Eh. <sighs> Is it worth testing for get count or am, am I confident about this? Yeah, all right, let's just YOLO submit. Okay. Mm, reasonably sure because I've done it enough times and then. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me in this Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem, this contest, the explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.